Hello, in this video I'm going to take a look at the Facebook notification, Facebook friend request email. And I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can tell that an email like this is a fraud. We'll start at the top here. Facebook friend requests, Facebook notification. There's no blue banner. This is not the Facebook logo. And when you get down to the body of the email, nothing within the contents of the email is about Facebook. Not one thing. Okay, so that's a couple ways already. The next thing I'm going to show you is when you look at the link here, this red circle right here is Web of Trust. When the circle is red, that means that this site is very bad. Do not click on this link. If it was green, it would mean it was safe. And when it's yellow, it just means that it's heading towards red and you're taking a risk if you click on the link. But when they're red like this, do not click on the link. So there's three different ways. The next thing I'm going to show you is in the drop down menu here. It's going to be a little easier to show you this way. The domain maximumqualityclicks.com is very well known for these type of emails. Anytime you see clicks within the domain name, most of the time it's going to be a bad site. So that's another way. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the drop down arrow, go to show original. I'm going to right click, click on select all, right click again, copy. I'm going to open IPNet info, paste what I just copied into the box, click OK. Then started at the Google server in California, went to Virginia, stayed in Virginia, and then went to Colorado. If I scroll to the right, we'll look at host names. Not one host name in here is Facebook, resolved names, not one of them is Facebook, email, not one of them is Facebook. And then the next thing I want to show you is right here. Where you see this cron.php, I'm going to click on this real quick. Right here, cron.php. When you see that, you spam that email out right away, report it as phishing, and get rid of it. Cron.php is a script that runs and is triggered by certain actions of the user. So when you see that, that's a dead giveaway that this is a bad email. I'm going to go ahead and close all this out now. I'm going to close IPNet info out. And next, I'm going to go back to the email. And now I'm going to copy that domain name. I'm going to open URL void. Paste what I just copied into the search box. Submit. And it's saying it's blacklisted. Three out of 27 engines caught it. If I scroll down a little more, it tells me that Spam House DBL caught it, WOT caught it, and SURBL caught it. So there's another way that you can tell that this is bad. So I've shown you plenty of different ways to be able to tell if this email or an email like this is a scam. And I would recommend installing Web of Trust. I'll have a trailer at the end of this video to show you how to do that. Don't get fooled by something like this. When you see an email that has just a ton of links in it, and not one of them links go to where it's supposed to go, such as Facebook, then you know right then that it's a bad email. I read an article yesterday that said $150 million a year now is being lost due to email scams. So don't fall for this. If you guys are watching my other videos, spread the word. Show your friends a few ways of how to tell if these emails are fake or not. The more people that know, the better. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. To get WOT in Firefox, you go to the drop down menu and then to add ons. And then under get add ons, you go to the search bar and you type WOT, all capital letters, and hit enter. And it's not showing up here because I already have it installed, but it would be up here. And you just highlight it and then go to the right over here and click the install button. You'll probably have to restart Firefox after you install it. But once you restart it, then it's running. And if you're using Google Chrome, you go to the settings menu here, and then go to tools, and then to extensions. And here it shows the extensions that I already have that are enabled and disabled. And I don't really want any of these, so I'm going to disable all of them. And then I'm going to go to get more extensions. In the search box, I'm going to type WOT, all capital letters, 
and hit enter and here it is right at the top so now I'm just going to click on the add to chrome button click add and here it is right up here now so now web of trust is running on the web browser I'm going to close everything out and to get IPNet info I'm going to type CNET hit enter click on download.com and in the search box type IP net info all one word hit enter here it is right here I'm going to click the download button and save the file if you have the option to run go ahead and run the downloads complete and now I'm just going to click on it and the setup wizard will open then you guys just follow the instructions from there I'm going to cancel this out close everything up